There's something special about southern BC in the fall. The colors change. The rivers run crystal clear. And the wild cutthroat trout start strapping the feed bag on. Good one. In this video, we're out in the East Kootenays and we're gonna be doing some heavy dry fly fishing for native West Slope cutthroat trout. Hope you enjoy it. After arriving to the campsite in the middle of the night and getting a quick sleep, the day started with a trip to the local fly shop. I was able to connect with the guys in the shop, get some local knowledge and information and really get dialed in on the flies and patterns that are working on the river right now. Got back to the campsite. We knew it was gonna be a big day. Got a nice breakfast cooked up, got some eggs, hash browns, bacon going. I could literally feel the anticipation building as I was getting my rod ready, getting everything lined, getting everything prepared. And after all that, there was nothing left to do but hit the river. We found this beautiful stretch of river with a nice pool and riffles. Let's break this down and see what we can do. That's a nice one. Oh, you just came up and friggin' sipped that thing, man. Beautiful. That's a nice fish. Well, here we go, guys. First cutty of the trip right here. Oh, well, rightly so that our guest from Ontario caught it. Friggin' killing my arm. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. That was unreal, what an experience. Every time that gets me shaking, you get a beautiful cutthroat like that on the line. That was so cool to watch, just came up from under the log, came, turned on the fly, just grabbed it. God, that's awesome. Focus on that line of bubbles there, following the logs. That's the prime area. Oh, there's something coming flying after that guy. There he is. Got him. That was sick. That was sick. There we go, guys. Another beauty cutty, guys. There we go. Little guy, nice. I'll take it. Oh, there he goes. It's a little cut bow, actually. Ooh, that's a good fish. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, nice. Unreal. This fishery, I tell you, is ridiculous. Yeah, he wants to play. Come on. There he is. Oh, get out of that. Get out of that, bud. <laughs> get out of that crap. Oh, he's got me in the shit, guys. Oh, there we go. That's, yes, there we go. Beautiful fish. That looks like a little cut bow. It is a cut bow. There you go. Yep. Love that. Fly pops right out. Okay, let's take a look. Nice. There you go. Nice. Nice little guy. Nice. Eating grass. Mum fell in a hole. <laughs> Always look where you're. St oh. <laughs> That was sick. 
Oh, that was such a nice take. Beauty. Look at that fish, guys. Beautiful. And then day two rolled around. It was supposed to be one of those days where it was gonna piss rain all day. Expected some cold temperatures. My mom wanted to hang back, so my dad and I went out, tried a new location. We got out to this nice stretch of stream. And wouldn't you know it, the weather just went our way. Hard work in the river. Broke the tip of my rod yesterday. So just dealing with that, just having to work it a bit differently here. But we make do. Some beautiful pockets, caught a couple nice cut bows, cutthroats. There you go, Pa. Little guy. What did he say? I just missed him. Crush this friggin' thing. Beautiful little fish. See you, bud. Some cows just hanging out beside the river. Got to interact with them a little bit, which was pretty cool. We actually decided to go check another spot out that we had seen. Really nice pool area near a bridge. And by God, did that turn out to be a good idea. There we go. Nice one, Pa. Oh, he's pulling me into the shit. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Yeah, little guy. My little beetle fly with the flash on it absolutely cleaned up once again. Caught some beautiful cutthroat trout. There we go, there's another little guy. Nice. It got to the point where that fly got absolutely destroyed. day with a beautiful cutthroat trout. There we go guys, we just hooked up to probably the biggest fish of the day right here. Oh, he's fighting. It's definitely a cutty, he's digging like crazy. Yeah, it's a beautiful fish right there. Oh yeah, beauty. That's the biggest one of the day. Oh yeah, give me the business. Wow. Oh, they did a scar on him. Yeah. What a beautiful fish. Oh my God.
Night was spent reminiscing about the day. Another crazy day of fly fishing out here, southern BC. The next two days are supposed to be sunny and warm, 20 degrees. There's gonna be some crazy hatches, I have a feeling, and I feel like the luck we've been having with these fish is just gonna keep rolling. Let's see what days three and four bring. Day three, I awoke to some really heavy rain in the morning, which was completely not what was supposed to happen at all. It was supposed to be a bit foggy and then the sun was supposed to come out, but we started our day. The rain subsided, the clouds stayed, and it actually started to warm up a little bit, so we were quite hopeful. Hit breakfast as always, got our stuff together and got out on the river. Going. Compared to the last two days, today started very slow. I don't know, we'll see if they go for this. No sun today, there's no bugs on the water. We weren't seeing any fish rise. There was no activity going on. So literally just swimming around right in front of me. It was definitely one of those traditional fly fishing days where you struggle to find a pattern. You, you change your fly like 50 times until you're really able to get a fish and start putting a pattern together. But finally, I was able to dial in on a smaller little beetle. Where is it? Hit this really nice pool, and we were finally able to get on a couple fish. Hard to see the small one. Oh, there it is. Oh, there we go. Nah. There we go. First fish of the day. Finally starting to get some action here, this is good. Ah, beautiful little fish, beautiful little guy. Now we're back at home base, just gonna load up on some hot dogs, get ready for the evening bite. Get right back out on the water, see if we can get a nice little 20 inch cutty tonight. How about that? Let's see what we can do. Oh, the clouds cleared up this evening, although it was still a challenge just like it was today. All right, Let's see if we can get redemption on this pool. We got into a few nice small little cut bows. Oh, I had one. But it was a good day. We saw some crazy bull trout out in this pool. It's time to go on wine, have a couple beers, and we'll see you guys on the river for day four. Well, after some chilly overnight temps, day four came and let me tell you, it was one of those days that just looked absolutely perfect. Just had a feeling that the fish were gonna be on. Being the last full day we had, we wanted to get out there. We wanted to get out in full force. After a short drive, we arrived at the beautiful location we were gonna be fishing today. It was a slow start to the day, but it didn't take long before we were able to hook our first fish. Oh, that was a big blow up. Did you get any? No, none. Nice, nice. It's a really nice run. Yeah, can't hear me. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. First fish of the day, baby, right into the net. Woo! Wow, they just hammer these flies. Yeah, oh, there he goes. Yeah. There we go, guys. Nice. Just flew up on the friggin' intruder. Got some fight to him. Beauty. Ah, nice. There we go. This guy, man. So nice. 
Did you get one too? Nice. I'm back under the bridge. There's too many trout around here not to try again. Paw's got one. Wow, Paw. There we go. Go pro. Good one. Oh, that's a good fish. Ooh, it's a good one. Oh, come on, bud, get in the net. Oh. <laughs> oh. And it's funny, after the heartbreak of losing that last oh. fish, which would have been my biggest of the trip. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> In a way, that trout's telling me, listen, man, you got to come back next year. So until then, we'll see you guys at the next spot.